you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, go over to ringsidecollectibleswrestlingfigures.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. Really helps us out here at the channel, and you will get a shout out on Instagram if you send me a screenshot of the order place with the code using MDTOYS. What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, we have another WWE Elite Figure 2 in 1 review, guys, but this time it is not two separate figures and two separate packages. We have one set of figures in one package here, and it is the brand new WWE Elite 2 pack Finn Balor and AJ Styles. I'm very excited for this pack. I've been waiting on this pack ever since they put up the, you know, the images at, at what was that, San Diego Comic Con when we had the render image when we saw the, the freaking Finn Balor. We did not know that we were going to be getting this interchangeable smiling Finn Balor head scan. We didn't know we were getting a t-shirt and all we knew is that we were getting the TLC matchup where they went head to head and I'm super excited, man. We got the two sweet hands in the house and it is, it is freaking go time, man. I am excited to crack this thing open. We do got some new packaging going on with this and we are going to take a closer look at it like we always do in our reviews then we're going to crack them out of the packaging and see what the hype is all about guys but you will see here you have your front viewing window they're both given the two sweet like they did at the end of the match at TLC 2017 when the Demon took on AJ Styles in that little impromptu matchup when everybody was getting sick and you know having to leave and all that bull crap but getting into it guys you will see here it says Finn Balor AJ Styles we spin it here and you will see a picture from the matchup at TLC 2017 on the back you have a beautiful shot of the Demon and AJ Styles and on the back you can see all of this right here. You have some info about Finn Balor on this side. You have some info about AJ Styles on this side. If you'd like to read that little bio right there you can go ahead and pause it now. Pretty much right there it just explains the matchup and what was going on. At the top you guys will see it says Finn Balor and AJ Styles at the top. Spinning it around to the right again you will have a little render image of Finn Balor and AJ Styles and that pretty much does it for the packaging guys. Not much more going on with it. And now that that is done ladies and gentlemen let's go ahead and crack Finn Balor and AJ Styles out of their packaging. So here's Finn Balor and AJ Styles out of their packaging, guys. Looking pretty freaking swell, I might say. Finn Balor and AJ Styles, two sweeting right here. In this matchup, I was very excited when this matchup took place. I was very hyped for it, and I think they delivered. I think it was one of the better matches of the year in 2017, and the Demon and AJ Styles obviously delivered because they're the, the Demon, Finn Balor, and AJ Styles, man. They, they brought it, and I was very, very nice with it, and I enjoyed that match. And to have it here replicated in figure form is pretty freaking sweet, and we do have some re-releases pretty much, in this pack, but not a big deal. We're going to get into all the new additions and get into all the things why you should pick this up if you want to. We're going to analyze everything and break it down. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and take a closer look at AJ Styles' accessories and AJ Styles, and then we'll come back and take a closer look at Finn Balor's accessories and Finn Balor. So getting into AJ Styles' accessories, guys, he doesn't really come with that much. We do have his signature vest right here, and this time they left out the hood, and that's not a big deal to me. You know, sometimes he does rock the vest without the hood on there, and this does not bother me, even though we do get the little plug holes in the top of the collar right there. You get some silver detailing on the little buttons right here on the front of the jacket going down the sides as well. On the back, you have a P1 logo. I believe we've seen this mold and this exact jacket multiple times before, and it is nice to include it here with the figure just to give us some simple accessories. I I think a, a cloth t-shirt would have been cool as well, but it's not a deal breaker by any stretch of the imagination. With AJ Styles, you also get two pairs of hands, and this kind of sucks because they did not give us mic holding hands, you know, to just sit there. Even though he's making a fist on the back of the packaging, you know, not a big deal. I prefer mic holding hands over fists, but they did not include either one here, so it's kind of difficult to say. This is like your entrance hands here. You guys know when he comes out and he ho holds his arms wide open like this right here. This is what these hands are. Uh, what I do love about these gloved hands is now we have a mold in black and you guys can see that it does have some detailing on it. It has like some bumps on it and it looks very very nice. You have the AJ logo there and that is on both of them obviously and you do get the P1s on the palms. Even though he doesn't have double jointed arms, he's not going to be able to put his hands together. You get it, you guys know and put the, you know, make the P1 logo like that. Not going to happen for this figure unless you put double jointed arms on it. It's kind of difficult to make it happen but this is what the main selling point of the figure is guys and that is the two sweet hands that you have going on right here. If you guys don't know what a two sweet is, it is a Bullet Club thing. It's also an NWO thing. And you guys know that AJ Styles and Finn Balor were both a part of Bullet Club. And so they have roots to that. And so they did a two sweet at the end of the TLC 2017 pay per view. Uh, we are missing some black paint on the inside of those fingers. Not a huge deal there. But I may want to add that because that, 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 that bothers me. But one thing I will say about the gloved hands is that they do not have the ripples. You guys know what I'm talking about. They don't have the little details or the little uh, patterns here, the little texturized thing going on with 
the gloves and I guess that's because they only have one too sweet hand and you guys can see the fingernails and things of that nature in there. And so I'm guessing they did a too sweet hand in the Finn Balor skin mold and then they just molded this one in a different color and didn't do a brand new sculpt, which makes sense. I can understand that, you know, everything like that, but I am glad to have these two sweet hands finally and I've been asking for two sweet hands for a very long time now, so it's very nice to see it finally come to fruition. <gasps> But now that we have taken a closer look at AJ Styles' accessories, guys, let's take a closer look at AJ Styles himself. So getting into the brand new Elite 2-pack AJ Styles, guys, I will say we've seen this head sculpt before, but it does look like AJ Styles, and at least they went with a head sculpt that we really like. You know, it's not the Elite 56, it's not the Elite 61, or whatever that head sculpt was. I really do love this AJ Styles head sculpt. I think it looks just like him. I like the long hair and everything. Uh, one thing I always say about AJ Styles figures is the torso, but you know what? We've, we're like 80 AJ Styles Elites deep, so I'm not going to deduct any points nowadays, but it would be nice to have a bigger torso to AJ Styles. Going down into the arms, guys, we do have a blue armband on the left with the AJ armband upside down. We have a blue and white P1 logo on the black elbow pad that he wears all the time. Going down into the tights, guys, we do have the Elite 56 AJ Styles slash Survivor Series AJ Styles figure going on on the legs, and there's the gloves that we're talking about. One thing I love that they do about the AJ Styles figures nowadays is they actually give him the wrist cuffs for his gloves. You guys know where it Velcro's on, and I love that they added styles here, and they, uh, you know, these do slide up and down, which is, you know, not a big deal, because when you pull it down, you get the illusion of full gloves, which I really love. I freaking love that. They did give us open knee pads, which are nice to have. You know, they are accurate, and they look great on the figure. And going down, you do have the Elite 56 AJ Styles kick pads, so it's basically a re-release of the Elite 56 AJ Styles, but it does obviously have some upgrades with the head sculpt and the interchangeable gloves and the glove molds and things of that nature, so that is very very nice to see, but uh, now that we have pretty much covered the figure, guys, let's go ahead and get into some Elite AJ Styles figure comparisons. So getting into the AJ Styles Elite figure comparisons, guys, you will see the new two-pack Elite AJ Styles in the middle. We obviously have the Elite 56 on the right, which is missing knee pads, pissing me off. I fixed up one of them, and I guess I got a new one and didn't fix it up. I don't know, but then we have the Survivor Series Elite on the left, and you guys will notice a thing. On neither of these guys, you do not have a black belt painted on. On this one, you do have a black belt painted on. On here on the Survivor Series Elite, you will see that they did fill in the logos on the right and on the left hand side, the P1 logo is a bit smaller than the one on the left in the Survivor Series Elite and then with the AJ Styles figure not only did they not paint the inside of the belt loop here, but they did not paint the inside of the little Japanese lettering over here and then on the right side, the P1 logo is larger, but they did not fill it in right there and that is not something that is just unique to mine actually everybody's Elite 56 AJ Styles has that problem. He obviously has the exact same Elite 56 AJ Styles kick pads. And then over here on the Survivor Series Elite, we have some different black and blue and white kick pads. So there are a lot of similarities between this AJ Styles, but they did fix a lot of the problems that were with those other ones. They did make the P1 logo smaller. I don't know if that was a problem or an issue, but they did give us that Top Talents head scan, which I always appreciate. It's the best AJ Styles head scan to date, and so I really do enjoy that. But that pretty much does it for our AJ Styles Elite figure comparisons, guys. So now that we have covered all of those, let's dive deeper into Finn Balor's accessories. So getting into Finn Balor's accessories, guys, we're going to start off with the cloth accessory, and it is this Balor Club Worldwide t-shirt that is in black with a white BC logo worldwide on there. And to be honest with you guys, you obviously get way more accessories than you do with AJ Styles. I say way more, but really you just get an extra pair of interchangeable hands, and you get an interchangeable head sculpt, and you get a cloth t-shirt instead of the rubber jacket. So I guess you could just say Finn Balor's accessories are definitely better, but I really love this t-shirt. This can go on our promo Balor. This can go on my promo attire slash casual wearing Finn Balor figure that I love. They obviously include the Velcro backing on the back because they always do. Really enjoy this t-shirt. Very nice. Can't wait to plug it on some different Finn Balors and look, see what that looks like. But that is not where the money's made with this figure, guys. We are looking at this head sculpt, and this is where I was very much looking forward to this figure right here. Look at this Finn Balor head sculpt, and we are going to definitely pull up an image and kind of see if it looks like Finn Balor. And I think it looks like Finn Balor. I feel like, you know, maybe the hairline may be a little bit off or something but I am really feeling it. I think it definitely looks like Finn Balor, and I'm very happy to finally have a smiling head sculpt for our Finn Balor figures. Typically I don't like smiling head sculpts. You guys know that it kind of makes them look ditzy, especially in like a pick fed setting. If, you know, somebody's standing there, like, I feel like the past episode in MDT Live, Seth Rollins is standing there looking like a jackass, just smiling all the time, but you know, I don't know what you can do until they release a serious face or a guy that's just sitting there, but I enjoy this Finn Balor head sculpt. I think it does look like him, and one thing I will say is maybe uh, I'll 
come in and paint in some extra beard at the bottom to make it look like a more fuller beard, but I still like it a lot. And the other head sculpt that we have, guys, is the demon head sculpt that is chipped away because it's supposed to be like he's mid-match or post-match, and I like this a lot. Is it a ton of paint wear going on? No, but at the end of the day, it's really hard to, you know, replicate that in factory, you know, when you're just sitting there and you're trying to get all that detail in it. Like, if somebody were to repaint this and put detail in it, you could definitely make it look like it's more chipped off, which I think is would be a really cool custom for somebody to do. But I think this works, and you know, it, it definitely works if you want to use this for action figure photography or something. There is the Finn Balor head sculpt. And then we get our two interchangeable hands here, our two pair of interchangeable hands. This is the entrance hands with the tape on there. And I don't know if this is accurate, but they did not include thumb tape on his right hand, and I think that's accurate because I'm looking at his entrance greats figure, and they left off the thumb tape on the right hand as well, so that's pretty nice detailing by Mattel there. And where the money is made, guys, is the two sweet hands which look fantastic, and again, they I don't know what's up with this. Now they're having it where he doesn't have his middle fingers taped, and I don't know if that's accurate. Maybe they couldn't get the paint in there, which I guess isn't a huge deal, but they did leave it off. The right thumb is without the tape again, and I really enjoy these hands as well. Again, they just don't have the tape on on the middle two fingers, which isn't a huge deal breaker for me. I'm just glad to finally have some two sweet hands for my Finn Balor figures. Before, we had to make custom hands for our figures, and now we don't have to do that anymore thanks to Mattel with these. So hopefully in the next Finn Balor and AJ Styles releases in the main Elite line, maybe we can include two sweet hands every single time. But that pretty much does it for Finn Balor's accessories, guys. So now that we have done that, let's get into Finn Balor himself. So getting into Finn Balor himself, guys, you will see the demon head sculpt chipped up right there. And one thing I will say is that uh, I, I want to keep this head sculpt on here because obviously a freaking smiley face Finn Balor head sculpt on top of this body would not make much sense because it wouldn't be that clean shaven. It wouldn't be that clean. You know, he'd have some black marks on his face and things. I think they included this for you to pop on your other Finn Balors, which we will probably do on action figure surgery or something, but taking a closer look at the demon, guys, I feel like this head sculpt looks a bit off or something. Am I am I getting that correctly? It's kind of like the eyes look just off. I'm, I'm, I don't know. What are you guys seeing right there? But going down, we are in the next segment of the video going to compare the body paints to see what exactly is chipped off compared to the other entrance figure that we saw in the past. But going down, I love this demon paint. I loved it when he came out in it, and it's still one of my favorite demon paints. I think it's just really cool to have the hands going over the shoulders. Not one of his most elaborate demon paints, but it is still nice to see. On the back, you do have this demon graphic, which I think they made smaller. I don't know why I feel like this made, they made this smaller. We'll compare it again in the next segment, but this just looks smaller to me. Going down into the trunks, it's just solid black trunks. Nothing creative there. In his sleeves, they're just solid black sleeves that we've seen before. I kept the wide open hands there because he wouldn't just be sitting there you know, in a two suite, trying to give him the most relaxed look as possible. Going down to the legs, guys, we do have the red knee pads with the black backs, which he did wear for a time in 2017 at multiple shows. I love it when they color the lower legs in black because it makes it look a lot better and it makes it more accurate instead of having that skin tone always there. And then going down to the kick pads, it is just solid black kick pads. They didn't give us any details into our shoes, which makes sense. They never do that in the past anyway unless it's specific to a guy. And uh, I, I will definitely show that off with my comparison to my entrance grace figure which I always add the details to my Finn Balor shoes just because it makes it look better and it makes it more accurate. But that is pretty much our Finn Balor, guys. A pretty much re-release of the entrance greats Finn Balor with some details scuffed up and things of that nature to make him look post or mid-match. But now that we've covered that, guys, let's get into some Finn Balor elite figure comparisons. So this is probably the only elite figure comparison that people want to see, guys, and that is the new two-pack Finn Balor on the right compared to the entrance greats Finn Balor on the left. And you will see here all of the differences in the chip paint going on on the neck, and you got it right here on the chest, and you have it on the opposite chest as well. You got it in the middle, and you can just see going around on the head sculpt. Again, you can see it chipped off, and I don't know why. I feel like this head sculpt looks better, and I I don't know what it is. It just kind of looks like the eyes maybe on this are off or something. I don't know. I like this head sculpt better. Even though I'm not, I'm just saying if this were fully painted like this, I think I'd still like this. It's like the eyes just look a bit off over here. But going over here, guys, on the back, you will see that I was correct about the graphic on the back. The graphic on the chip paint is a little bit smaller, and I think I dig the bigger one better. I think it looks a lot better. And continuing on, they did cut off that. Not a huge deal there, but that is something to take note of that they did actually make the graphic on the back 
smaller. Trunks are the same, arm sleeves are the same, knee pads are basically the same, and then going down, this is what the shoes look like when you paint them up, and I think this looks so much better. It gives it that depth, it makes it look a lot more accurate, and I just love it, man. That, lo that looks fantastic. You guys know that Finn Balor is one of my favorite superstars in the world, and he's one of my current favorite superstars, so I definitely wanted to add the details to my Finn Balor figure, but that is all for the comparisons for this Elite figure. One thing I will go ahead and do, guys, is pop the brand new Smiling Head Sculpt onto a non-Demon Finn Balor Elite. Holy Christ on a bike, ladies and gentlemen. Look how good this head sculpt looks on the ringside exclusive Finn Balor fix-up that I made. Uh. Almost vomited. I really do love this Finn Balor head sculpt, man. When you plug it onto a non-Demon Elite body with the ringside, like, look at this. With the white kick pads, the black knee pads, you got the black Balor club, the ringside exclusive trunks going on with the white wrist tape, and then I plugged in the two sweet hand over here on the left hand. Holy Christ, I love this, man. That looks fantastic. The only thing that I would say is if I could get a thicker beard on this thing, like this head sculpt over here from my boy Rodney, Holy God in heaven, how beautiful would that be looking? Still looks great nonetheless, guys. If, if nothing else in this video was a selling point, I think this head sculpt is definitely worth it. I mean, you get an extra Finn Balor, you get the extra AJ Styles, you get an extra Top Talents head sculpt, you get the t-shirt, you get the two sweet hands, and you get this wonderful looking Finn Balor head sculpt. I love this head. I think it looks great, and it's definitely the highlight of the two-pack. So, if you didn't want to buy this two-pack for any other reason, then I think this head sculpt is all you need, guys. I mean, my God, what a freaking head scan. But that is pretty much going to do it for this 2-in-1 Elite Figure 2-pack Finn Balor and AJ Styles from TLC 2017. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. Overall, I really would recommend this set, even though it is pretty much a re-release of AJ Styles and the Entrance Greats Finn Balor. If you missed out on the Entrance Greats Finn Balor and the Elite 56 AJ Styles, this is a must-grab. Also, I think that it's let alone worth it for the Finn Balor head sculpt and t-shirt and two sweet hands. I think it's a really unique 2-pack with those two sweet hands, and we do have more figures coming very soon. If you would like to pick up these figures as well as many many other figures coming very soon to ringsidecollectibles.com they also have a tons and tons of stuff over there available now go over to ringside collectibles guys use the promo code mdtoys you will save 10 percent and it will help out the channel a ton so that really we do really do appreciate when you use our code and we will shout you out on instagram if you do use our code like i said i really do love this two pack i think all the accessories are sweet too sweet if you ask me <laughs> please subscribe but seriously I, I really do love it being a huge fan of Finn Balor and I love AJ Styles as well this this is freaking fantastic or too sweet <laughs> please love me but that is going to do it for this figure review guys thank you so very much we have more figure reviews coming either today or tomorrow so stay tuned for that and some extra figure news that I'm excited to tell you guys about but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys and I will See you guys in the next video. Thank you.